Good on life for you, that age, my boy. Our destiny is in the stars. Right then, we've got this bad boy open. There we have him. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and any Daleks that may be watching this video, may I introduce to you... and welcome back to another episode of me recollecting my classic Doctor Who character options action figures and in today's video I am so excited to finally be able to show you something that I've been wanting to show you for absolutely weeks and weeks and weeks and part of that will be inside this white box this is the box that actually featured in last episode and I was gonna open it and then decided not to because something hadn't quite come that was gonna go with it and guess what, it has come today. So I will finally be able to reveal what is inside this white box today. I am so excited to make this video. Let's just jump in and get on with it. Okay, so there are four boxes for me to be opening in this video. Stay tuned because the fourth box that I open will be this white one. And oh my goodness, I am so excited to show you what's inside there. Let's do it. Okay, so box number one is fairly small in comparison to the rest of the boxes, but that doesn't matter. I'm still excited to see what's inside this one. I'll be honest with you, as normal, I can't really remember what it is. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so we have the box open and inside we are greeted with some kitchen roll or toilet paper great I will uh, leave that over there and then we have just one figure inside here but this is the very first time I've had this figure back in the collection since I've been recollecting so I am very excited about it it is the Axon monster from the master and Axon set so let's just get him out from his plastic bag here we are, he's in fantastic condition. For some reason he smells like perfume, but I'll take that over the smell of smoke any day. Let's just throw that box on the floor. And there we have it everyone, the Axon figure from Claws of Axos. And this is one of my favorite figures, simply because it's just so big and bulky, so much detail involved, it's absolutely fantastic. It is exactly the same mold as the crinoid that will also hopefully be featuring in this video, spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's it's fantastic. I really do like this. I'm looking at army building this as much as possible I would like to have maybe three or four of these in the collection as they were seen in the original story of Claws of Axos So that is the Axon monster which can go nicely by the way with my Axon humanoids Okay, so now we move on to the second box that I will be unboxing. Let's go Okay, so inside the box is some paper that we don't need. We've got some more brown paper that we don't need. It's always good though, it's been packed really well. There are several figures in here which I am very excited about. So the first one I'm going to pull out randomly is this one here. It is the bubble wrap monster as seen in the Ark in space. Only joking. Let me just uh, have a little look and see what is inside here before I can show you because I've got no idea what it could be. I know it's not a Dalek because it's the wrong shape for that. It is a, oh fantastic, it is a Cyberman from Attack of the Cybermen. It is actually the Stealth Cyberman. Unfortunately, I'll just double check, this one does not come with an accessory. No accessory to murder. So let's just get rid of that. So it is just the standard, I say standard, it's the Stealth Cyberman on its own with no accessory. I've now got two of these in the collection, sadly, both without their weapons. So they're kind of um, friendly Cybermen, I guess you could say, but it's nice to have that back in the collection. So we're just going to leave him there for now and see what else we've got inside this pretty big cardboard box. And I've just pulled something out and I know what it is. Oh man, I'm so excited about this one. I'm literally, this video has been nothing but excitement for me so far and it's only gonna get better. Inside this one is, really should use my pen knife, a lot of bubble wrap, which is always nice to see, but inside this one is another Axon monster from the claws of Axos. There we go, another one to add to the collection. So him and him equals two hymns. Um, <laughs> I'm 
I'm so happy to have two of these now in the collection. I would say the army building is halfway complete already. We've only got to get two more of these and then I'm happy. I've already got this set mint in its packaging as well, so we really are getting there with the Axon monsters. Brilliant. Okay, there are still items to be pulled from inside this box. We have another very well wrapped up figure. It is the last one in the packaging, so that is now empty, so we'll get rid of that. I'm gonna use my pen knife to cut through the brown tape on the bubble wrap. And in this one, I'll give you a clue. It's green, it's large, and it's very, very similar to an Axon monster. What possibly could it be? Oh, how about the monster from one of my favorite ever Doctor Who stories, the Crinoid with bubble wrap hat. <laughs> Random, good packaging. Anyway, stop mucking about Raven. Here we have the Crinoid, and oh my goodness, doesn't he just look absolutely fantastic. Now if I compare these two together, as you can see the sculpt is practically identical. There are a few differences on the hands and um, you know there are slight differences but on the whole we all know they are the same and I believe this is true to the, uh, to the real stories because the so the axons were used in the Jean Pertwee story and then they were reused again the costume was painted green for the Seeds of Doom that's pretty cool. Okay, so so far in this video we've unveiled a Cyberman from Attack of the Cybermen. We've unveiled two, I can't believe I'm saying it, but two Axon monsters with Claws of Axos and the Crinoid from the Seeds of Doom. So, that brings me on to the very, very exciting part of this video. Here we go. Okay, so the third box that we're opening is gonna start giving you a, a big clue as to what's in the white box, but I won't spoil it. We'll see if you can guess it. I'll open up this one first and see what's inside. Right then, we got this bad boy open. So, may I introduce to you the first part of the second part of this video, and it's very snugly fit in this box, I must say. So I'll gently get it out get rid of the box because we don't need that anymore. As you can see, it's a Dalek set. It is the destiny of the Dalek set. Now, if you've been watching my videos closely, you will know that I've already got this set a few times in the collection. But, as you will probably also be aware, I am trying my hardest to army build. And one thing I absolutely love doing is army building the fourth Doctor. No, you're joking. Army building the Daleks. Now, this set's one of my favourite sets because not only does it come with two Daleks, but it also comes with two different Daleks. So when you're army building this, it just looks absolutely fantastic. So there we have the destiny of the Dalek set. And stay tuned because in the rest of this video, I will show you my entire destiny of a Daleks collection. It will hopefully impress everybody. So that's that one. Let's crack on and open that last box that was featured in the last episode and I decided to leave it to this episode. Here we go. Right then, I will actually cry on camera if this box is either empty or doesn't contain what it should contain because I kid you not, I have waited so long to get it open. But that being said, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna open the box, everybody. Here we go. Okay, so the box is now being opened very, very carefully. I so, question number one. What surname or last name does Susan, the doctor's granddaughter, use? I do not want to damage what's inside here. It's packed up very well, which I'm glad to see. It's another Dalek set. But what Dalek set can it be? Comment down below and tell me if you've guessed at this time in the video what this particular set might be. And without further ado, may I introduce to you Although it's covered in bubble wrap, so you have to wait just a minute. Hang on, let's just get this bad boy open. Okay, so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and any Daleks that may be watching this video, may I introduce to you the destiny of the Daleks box set signed by David Goodison himself, the chap that played Davros in this story. But I will stop myself there because you'll be thinking to yourselves, possibly, Raven, you've already got this set. Like, I'm sure you've shown us the fact that you have a David Goodison signed Destiny of a Dalek set in your collection. 
And guess what? You would not be wrong because I don't just have this one, I now have two. Which means I can finally get one open for the very, very first time in my Doctor Who creative collecting life. And it means that I can finally have one of these cards on display, not in its packaging. I don't know why that is like excited me so much. It's something I always, always wanted to do ever since I saw this set was released like all those years ago. And I can now finally do it. Okay, so that's the unboxing part of this video. Now let me show you my entire Destiny of the Daleks collection. Okay, so as you can see, this is my Destiny of the Daleks mint and sealed packaging collection. And boy oh boy, have I spent a lot of money. I'm not joking when I actually say that these sets generally cost around about £100. So that's about £500 of Doctor Who merchandise. Now of course I will be opening three of these sets and keeping two mint in their packaging. I will be keeping one signed and one non-signed mint sealed in packaging and the other three will be being opened and I will make a video of that very soon, I promise. So please subscribe if you want to see that video. But before I go, there is one more thing I've got to show you that is involving the Destiny of the Daleks collection. Check this out. So as you can see here, I've added five Daleks and Davros as well. These are figures that I've had for a while. They're figures that have been released from their packaging and they're part of the army. So I've got two grey and black Daleks. I've got two just grey Daleks. I've got the Suicide Dalek and I've also got Davros. Now the Dalek with the bombs on it actually came from another set, this came from the 4th Doctor's Adventure set which I do have currently a few of those coming in the post as well so don't fear I will be army building those Daleks but like I said my main focus in this particular video was to show you my army building of Destiny Daleks so not only have I got these ones that are opened I'm going to have six more to add to the collection because I'm going to be opening three more sets so that means everybody that I'm going to have five of these Daleks which is going to be amazing I'm also going to have five of these Daleks which is going to also look amazing so that's ten Daleks in the army plus about three or four of them so we're looking at 14 Daleks plus Davros so let's just be friends and call that 15 Daleks in the Destiny of the Daleks collection. I'm not joking when I say I have finished with Destiny of the Daleks. I've completed it. I've set out to do exactly what I want you to do. And now I'm going to focus my efforts on Genesis of the Daleks. I'm going to focus my efforts on Resurrection of the Daleks, Revelation of the Daleks, and of course, Remembrance of the Daleks. Now thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you've stuck it out to the end. I'm so excited about making this, I'm so excited about making this go live and showing you all. Until then, stay tuned and I will be uploading the next episode in this series very very soon with plenty more Doctor Who merchandise from Character Options. Until then, look after each and every single one of yourselves. Take care, goodbye for now.